Good morning. Getting a little bit of a late start today. So there's a lot of light going on, but luckily this light bulb behind me is blue. So that is awesome. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about uh, the idea of getting back on track. And this became abundantly clear. This is what I'm going to talk about after uh, spending a week on vacation and getting off track and then being a weekend away at a work retreat and with unexpected or even expected life events coming up, um, it can be very hard to stay in your routine. Um, so between vacation, house moving, retreat, I fall, fell off track when it came to um, producing uh, writing content and uh, my workouts. And this is very common to happen in any part of your life when things are just a little bit more, there's a little more things on your plate. And there's a couple things that you can do in this situation is uh, I know some folks will just grind through. They will keep their plate a full because they know that some stuff will fall off um, eventually. And there's people like me that will um, drop things that are not as important in the moment and then hopefully pick them up um, later on. And that is more what I'm talking to today. If you're one of those people that can just grind through and just keep your plate full for a little bit, that is awesome. Cool. Good for you. Kudos. I don't think that's most people. But for those people that um, end up kind of dropping some things, it's how do you get those things? How do you pick them back up? Now, for me, my, my experience, a lot of times it was. So that was my workouts. And that was my writing, my relaxing time, my reading in the morning. And... What I find to be helpful is keeping a part of it, meaning I don't let everything go. So being healthy is important to me. Educating myself is important to me. So I did the bare minimum. I still watched what I ate, so I didn't completely fall off track. And I still tried to read uh, 15 to 20 minutes every morning versus my 30 to 40 minutes. So I kept a little piece of that good habit or something I've been working on. And that is important. I don't want to let everything go, but I want to keep a piece of it because that allows me to then slowly increase uh, those aspects. And I'm not so far removed from that habit that it becomes increasingly hard to get back on track. So I would say that is step number one. And then step number two is get back in the routine of actually writing things down, making a checklist. Um, because if before you were just kind of going off a, a play sheet in your head, uh, write it down. Actually write down what you're going to get done for the day until it starts becoming a habit then. So I'm going to write down um, packing my gym bag, going to the gym, or eating healthy. Whatever you let fall off. For me, it was it was writing. So I have to write it down. Hey, I'm going to write today, and this is what I'm going to write about, or I'm going to work out today. Um, and getting back on track by actually writing it down or telling someone using that accountability until you get back on that routine. It usually takes... A week or so uh, depending on how far off track you are and by keeping those little good habits what I talked about before not letting everything go it still allows that motivation of positivity meaning I know I was watching what I was eating or I was reading so I can pick up versus I just let everything go for a couple weeks it's gonna be very hard um, or not very hard but just more discouraging to get started again and so those are my two tips uh, for getting back on track once you've become off track um, with your goals. So tip number one, try to keep one or two things that were part of that old habit. And tip number two, write them down, make an action list um, for a short period of time until it just becomes back into your daily routine. And that's all I have. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will uh, answer them. And as always, uh, check out my website at joshwilliamsfitness.com uh, for my latest uh, news. Hopefully I'll be getting some new stuff up this week as I get back on track uh, this week. So enjoy the day, and I will see you guys all soon.